lynchings isn't in my word dictionary, can only write about one. As if 25,000 black bodies weren't lynched on record and 30,000 more off. As if it was this one thing that happened that one time in a small town by a man who lost his mind akin to Dylan Roof, but it's my bloodline that runs thin. I've been contemplating getting a firearm. By that, I mean I'm getting a firearm. I know it's not the answer to all my people's pain, but for once I want to know I have the power and something to gain the next time a cracker motherfucker decide to call me out my name. No, I won't kill them. I won't pistol whip them, spit on them while they down, but yes, I may fantasize. I wonder if I did it, would their family be forced to be satisfied with persons unknown? Sharing streets with us, walking around rocking half-burnt souvenir knuckle bones. Popping bottles of moonshine with the very same corkscrew that cleansed ideas from their child's head with jars of their loved one's balls pickling on my porch next to a batch of sunflowers and sweet tea and me with a double barrel shotgun and steel toe boots. Would I be satisfied then? Or just live with the disease they've been living with for generations? A sickening coming of age to be afraid and empower a testament to terror. I would not be healed, but would it satisfy my fury? Would it temper my tantrums, steady my heart, release my stress, would it free my fucking art? Maybe I just want to metabolize the feeling. What makes this power so addictive, so unfailingly delicious, it makes TV dinners out of hellish wounds, excited by the sense of fresh blood, flesh ripped and reignited, that our right to heal becomes threat to freedom. Maybe I want the torn and tormented ancestors in me who have not slept without weeping in the evening another vanish, who have not felt safe in lifetimes, they do not rest in death times to feel the warmth of the enemy's blood on their faces, anger and pain in revenge is a fast beating heart and thick, cold blood. Does hate have a half-life? Does hate have its own life? Or is it a parasite? Siphoning, leaving this unrelenting passion for annihilation, how do you know if you've got it? That is to say, is this hunger natural? 